Hi friends, how are you today? I hope you guys are all having a great day. And this week we are going to learn about flowers and bees and um, the artwork that we call a still life, okay? So I'm gonna share with you a little bit about um, flowers and bees and the still lives that we see, okay? So I'm gonna share my screen. All right, so you should all be able to see my screen now. Here we go. All right, so this says flowers and bees. So what do you see in this picture? If you want to pause my video, go ahead. And I really want you to look at what you see in this picture. So this says flowers and bees, science and still life. So in this picture, what I see is I see lots of different textures. I also see a butterfly, a dragonfly, some dying flowers, a bee, a butterfly, a wicker basket, a caterpillar. Did you guys see all those things too? So let's talk about the parts of the flower. So here we have the top of the flower, we have the stem, and we have the leaves. Now, we also have some other parts of the flower when you zoom in really close. So we have the stigma, the style, the ovary, the receptacle right here, just kind of like this part of the flower, the stalk, the ovule, the petals, and the, um, or the stamen. Depends on how you want to call it. Now let's talk about bees. Here is our fuzzy little friend, the bee. I love bees. And when I was in college, I actually studied bees and honeybees specifically in my art classes. So it's something that I love to draw and paint. Now, bees make a honeycomb with their, their friends. So their hive. So there are hundreds and thousands of them that work together to make this honeycomb. So they go to this flower and they get the pollen and then they come back and make a hive and honey. Now humans, so people have uh, been able to get honeybees to work for them and make honey. Isn't that crazy? So here's a beekeeper um, checking on his hive and they made a honeycomb and lots of honey for him. So here you can see this is where on the back of the bee where they store all of the stuff that they get from the flower. Now here is honey. I'm sure a lot of you have had honey before. It's really delicious. And um, here is a honeybee on a mosaic mural. So let's talk about a still life. A still life is simply flowers in a vase, sometimes with fruit, sometimes with other things. Um, and an artist will paint it or um, make a print of it. So this is a very traditional still life painting. As you can see, there's a seashell, another seashell, a flower down here, a beautiful vase so you can see the stems, hundreds of flowers, and um, a little bee down here, right? So I really, it was a dragonfly. I really love this still life. Now here's some more. So you can set up a still life however you would like to and draw it. So we're painted at home. This artist did, um, I think those are eggs and onions and then uh, maybe a pot for tea. And then this artist had some apples and some flowers and some leaves. Now here are some more. This one, um, I really like this one because of the warm colors right here. Warm colors when you have the greens. You see the greens here and here too. And this one is especially beautiful because of all the bright flowers. Now I love this one because there's goldfish in this still light. And this orange was already starting to get peeled. And, so, and this fruit looks cut already. So I love this still light and there's a lot of texture in the background. Now this artist right here, we will call him Henry. He did a lot of paintings of still life pictures and he is very famous for his artwork. So as you can see, this is one of his artworks. 
And here are some more. I love this one because of the white. It's just so bright. So, so bright. And here is where we have some examples from different artists of bees in a still life art. So you can see one right here. Here's some beetles. Right here, you see a bee right here. Look, a lizard, a caterpillar, some butterflies, a snail. And that is it for that. So now I'm going to show you friends how to do your seesaw homework. So I am going to click right here. And I am going to work on this. Let me edit this. Right here. All right, so this is what I have for you. It says, draw flowers in the vase. Draw a bee flying, okay? So you're gonna come over here to your drawing tools, get a very skinny one and start drawing your flowers. Now, they don't all have to look the same. You have different stems, different heights. Maybe some will come out and down. Maybe some are dying, so sad. So draw at least quite a few flowers. And you can add the leaves. And you can make it a different color green. And don't forget also, I have um, some videos for you along with the video that you're watching about bees and flowers, okay? So now for your flowers, let's practice just drawing a simple bumpy line flower. And then I'm gonna show you how to color the flower to make it look cool. You're gonna use this highlighter tool. You can use it in the same color or a different color. And look, I just colored it in. How pretty is that? You can still see some of the dark. You can click it a couple times like that. I think that looks so pretty. You could even use a lighter color to make it look lighter around the edges. Like that. I think that looks pretty cool. You could even make it a little bit smaller. Make it look more like a flower. You can make different kinds of flowers just by doing dots. I think these are really pretty. It reminds me of a lilac flower. Maybe a baby's breath. I really like that. So you could do different colors. You can make a rainbow flower. You could pick a theme. You could make it a hundred different colors, just like that. And uh, maybe you'll make a sad flower that's dying. So it's starting to turn brown. Maybe it was an orange flower and it's starting to turn brown a little bit. Because flowers don't live forever, right? And then you could add some water using the highlight tool to your vase. Just like that. So put some water in it so maybe our flowers will last a little bit longer. And then make sure you finish up all of your flowers. You could do a red rose like this. So you'll make a swirly line. And then a bump. And then of course you can color it in. Just like that. Maybe make it a little bit darker. Just like that. Ta-da! There is my rose. Okay, so I would like for you to add all of your flowers. And then, of course, you can draw your bee. So let me show you how to do that. We're going to make a small little bee. So I have the body, the head, now I take a black or a dark brown, and I'm going to do a really tiny little baby line. Little stinger, little legs, it has six legs. Some antenna, 
and a big I. Ta-da, there is my B, and you can add some wings. If you use a highlighter tool in white or gray, it'll look like it's flying. Just like that. Ta-da, there is my still life, friends. So go ahead and pause here if you want to look at it to see or um, just to kind of get some more ideas. And um, I really hope you guys enjoy this lesson. I'm very excited to see what you guys make. And I will see you later. Bye.